Deadpool and Wolverine. Tickets are on sale right now. And fuck, they are selling quick. I uh, got notified. Well, didn't get notified. I was on uh, our local theatre chain is a view. We was, well, I was waiting for the tickets to go on sale at two o'clock. I was like waiting 10 minutes before, kept refreshing, 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 refreshing. Uh, I got on, I think I was the second person in there. I got the seats that me and Kyle love, IMAX, VIP, front, middle. You might be thinking, why do you want to sit at the front? It is like the front but the screen is still so far away. It's... Yeah, there's there's a lot of... I've seen a lot of IMAX uh, screens where people are sat at the front and the face is, like, really distorted and, you know, it's terrible. That's because yeah. those IMAX screens are, you know, put very, very close, whereas we have quite a bit of room. I think our IMAX... We got lucky with our IMAX because it is really good. Yeah, it is. It is really good. Like, you know... And it... Anyway... Let's not gush about our IMAX. We've got our tickets. And they're selling out quick. I've been looking at ours. It's filling up, Kyle. In fact, I'll have another check in a minute. It might be full now. The, fr- the Friday, the Saturdays, it's all filling. Yeah, which also we are going to see at midnight. So, yes. um, yeah, that's, that's really exciting. We've not done a midnight in... God, which was our last one? Was, no. it, was it Endgame? No, the Batman. About my midnight? Yeah. Oh. I remember the uh, they put up loads of signs saying, you know, if a film's rated the such and such, our rating... Well, not our rating, 15. But, yeah, our equivalent, which is 15. It was like, you need to have a, uh, you know, a parent or something with you, mm-hmm. didn't it? So, I, I'm not going to show the, our screening, obviously, just in case we get doxxed. Um... Our full the row that we're in, the VIP row, fully booked. Uh, the w- tier behind that is filling up a bit more, but most of the regular seats. Gone. Yeah. Fucking hell. Um. What so the so you said the front rows all gone? Yeah. Jesus. And when we get in there and we've got the bang on it middle, we're gonna be like you fucking bastards. Yeah, um, do you know? I'm just, I'm just. I hope we don't have some fucking dick that's just gonna sit in our seats. I, we we will, will just tell them to move. We will make a, a video this week about at the cinema experience and what you know the things that really wind us up. Like, my, do you know? I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, my dream now is to actually open my own theater and just have. Like, mate, your phone's going to fucking locker and stuff like that. But I don't, the, the I good, don't think that would be possible. But I like the I like the concept. The, you know, the good thing with a midnight screening is it's the fans, and I think that's what we've been missing lately because they're always the best. Uh, but we have got a new synopsis for Deadpool and Wolverine. Go on, and this might be better than the synopsis for the second one, which. The synopsis for the second film, Kyle, is uh, the sequel to the first one. Yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> so this one's a bit more wordy, but I like it. Uh, Marvel Studios presents their most significant mistake to date: <laughs> Deadpool and Wolverine, a listless Wade Wilson, toils away in civilian life. His days as the morally flexible mercenary Deadpool behind him. When his home world faces an existential threat, Wade must reluctantly suit up again with an even more reluctantly, reluctant, reluctant est. He must convince, convince a reluctant Wolverine to fuck synopsis. Is so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously tickets are on sale right now. The one thing I'm the most excited about now, though, now that I've got my tickets and that's all out the way, which I'm going to have a look 
uh, towards end of week and then I'll start booking more probably. I don't want to be that guy who, you know, just jumps in and books like a Friday night if we've already seen it and then someone else can't get in and see it because we can see it through the day if we have to because we're going to have the time off. But I do want to go Friday night as well because that'll be a pretty lively one and Saturday night. Uh, But yeah, the thing that excites me the most now, now that this has come out, the Deadpool marketing campaign has started. We're getting stuff with Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman together speaking to each other. Yeah, it's go- we are going to have a blast for the next two months. Yeah, I just can't wait to see all the videos, the ad tie-ins, all that. Shabam. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. It, it's kind of sad because this might be like the last time we get it, but you know, hopefully not. Hopefully, we get some more. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds marketing later right. on the line. So, we've had a look. Screenings are selling out. I'm pretty sure it's even worse in America. What do you think we're going to be hearing tomorrow? Do you, what do you think this is going to be breaking records, like pre-sale records? Ooh, I, I don't know. Because just because of... I didn't have to queue. The only time I remember queuing online to get tickets is Spider Man No Way Home. Yeah, and that was fucking. That was somewhere else. Yeah, so what what I'll say to that is, you know, this is not to diminish. It, it, uh, look, this this is a very big film, and loads and loads of people are excited for. It. Everybody loves Deadpool. Everybody loves Wolverine. If you don't like one or the other, you're still looking forward to this film. If you're not a big Marvel guy, you're still looking forward to this film. I've been talking to people about Deadpool and Wolverine who I never even talked to about films and they're like, I don't want to see that. Exactly. This this is a big film, so I I still think No Way Home has set a lot of records just with the ticket sales and things, because like Jesus Christ, it was a it was I you know, I remember when you got the tickets, I just remember hearing how much of a nightmare it was for you. Oh. And you know, I just remember seeing online people were struggling to, to get tickets and people were reselling tickets yeah. of the film, you know. It yeah. got really, really bad. Look, so I, I, <laughs> like back then when I was getting no way home tickets, uh, I had to take my fork truck to one corner at the yard and hide for about half an hour trying to get them. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I got them. I hope your boss don't see this. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I... I don't think it will be that manic, but it's definitely one of those where it's it's going to be like, yeah, it's going to be fully booked on like, you know, by the end yeah. of today, I guarantee you that, you know, the weekend's going to be probably fully booked. I think I late think. weekend, but I think like through the day, like Thursday, Friday, we should be good. Because I looked at them and they were, you know, they've got people in them, but it's like there's still seats there and it's because, you know, people are working but it's the, yeah. the Friday nights, the Saturday yeah. nights, the Sunday. Yeah. I think that's 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 what I mean. It's them, you know, like any film really, it can fill up. But this is going to be quite filled up. But like you say, I don't know if that's... You didn't struggle to get the tickets today because maybe they sorted it out or they sorted something out or maybe the... Yeah, the maybe they got, more, the in, they got more infrastructure infrastructure for it now for when... Handle it, yeah. yeah something like that happens. Yeah, so maybe it just it was able to handle it, or maybe it was just kind of one of those things of like it, you know, it's it's still big, but yeah, I think No Way Home just put a uh, you know a hammer on onto these servers, like it would just Spider Man No Way Home with everything that was hyped up about the film, you know. Teasing Toby oh, and Andrew. That was and so that. You had to be there opening night. You had to. Well, I mean, this is that. This is the yeah. same thing. Yeah. I just, I just feel like Spider Man is obviously the more popular character. You don't have to be Undeniably. an adult to go watch it. Undeniably. Yeah. So Ugh. I, I just think it's these factors that are, you got to take in mind when it comes to Deadpool. It's R rated. You know, it's not for kids, even though. Some kids will probably want to go see this because it looks fucking awesome. But yeah, I just think it's all these factors of like you know where Spider Man is like this 
he is a global phenomenon. Like, everybody knows who Spider-Man is. Never heard of him. Yeah. But, maybe, maybe Deadpool and Wolverine will be cemented well, globally. Yeah, because that's the other end you got to look at this. We're, you know, just looking at this from a Deadpool film. You know, the original, Wolverine, the original Marvel Big Three was Spider-Man, Hulk, and Wolverine. So maybe Red that's yellow the, green. Maybe that's the angle we need to look at it from. Yeah, because I don't think Wolverine is as big of a character as Spider-Man, but I think he's close, and with yeah. Deadpool as well. I think. I'm saying this right now. I think this makes over 200 million opening weekend. US domestic. Not not Probably. worldwide. US domestic. How much do you think it's going to make opening weekend? Just if you had you to. You know me. I, if you I, had I'll to, just say the same as you. All right. But if that means if we fall, we fall together. That's fine. Do you not want to I go? Don't, I, don't really, I don't really deal with numbers and domestic numbers just because I don't have a fucking clue. Right. Let's... <laughs> I'll let you pick either end of it then. Let's put a Deadpool and Wolverine hot tie on it. Because no. they're going to come out. I'll let you pick either side you want. Is it going to make under 200 million or over 200 million? Opening weekend for US what domestic. Did, what did um, Apes make? Apes about fifty summer um US. Okay. Uh I'm not betting anything, but I think probably come on. under come on under Vir two. virtual handshake with me. No. Why not? <laughs> Cause I want the hot toy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I need I need Toby first. No, I I, I think Maybe it might come close to hitting the 200 mark or around that, but I don't know if it'll exceed it. I mean, we'll have to see. I think we'll have to see tomorrow. We need to give it this 24 hours yes. for the ticket thing to, yeah. to, to kind so, of cause there'll be flatten itself out. You know, there'll be loads of stories tomorrow of, like, breaking records, highest ticket sale. You know, because I think another thing we need to look at as well is the trailer broke the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer record. Mm. The Deadpool and Wolverine one. And that wasn't the one that just came out. That was the first one. Mm -hmm. So, are we underestimating this film a little bit? Probably are, and, yeah. I mean, I think I think as well, it's it's the fact of we've not had anything in the Marvel movies for a good while now. Well, since 2021 you know, that people have been this excited for. Yeah. The which was Spider-Man No Way Home. And it's like nobody's really been that excited for... Yeah, I think this is obviously definitely the next big Marvel film, and thank God it's it's this one. You well, know, yeah, I'm glad. What was No Way Home described as by Tom Holland? This is kind of Spider-Man Endgame. Which? Good description. It was. Deadpool and Wolverine is kind of Deadpool Endgame. Just by looking yeah. But yeah, I yeah. the the fact that this is so close now, I my excitement is I f I think we're about sixty days out now, two months. Now to be fair, June is being very nice to us. June is being padded out with the boys, House of the Dragon, the Acolyte. So we've got a load of stuff to look forward to in June <laughs> to kind of carry us over. But yeah, try get your tickets, guys. Get on there because this is some, you know, by the looks of it, you don't want to miss this opening night. And it does sound like we're kind of selling something for Disney here, but I don't know. After I got my tickets, I went and watched the uh, opening night reactions to Avengers Endgame. You know, whenever it's cheering and stuff like that in cinema. Mm. I was just cheering. Well, they were just cheering. But right, let's move on to our next... Our next topic. 